Hi Aries, it's B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. All this smoke that you're seeing, um, <laughs> it's my Palo Santo wood, and it is to help clear energies from the prior sign so that I can channel energies for your sign. It will not last the entire time. It will eventually die out, okay? Uh, welcome to my channel. Like I said, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you, um, all of my subscribers. You guys have been so great. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, if you would like to, I would really appreciate that as well. Thank you also for all of your shares and all of your likes. Now, a little piece of uh, housekeeping before we get started. There has been a lot of um, information going around the internet, going around YouTube, and so on and so forth about infringement. Um, you know, copyright law, so on and so forth. Um, I will have each and every one of you know that I do not copy other people's work, okay? I do not, uh, you know, take their material and use it as my own. Now, sometimes I may end up saying, you know, two words that may be similar to theirs. Like, for example, last month I made a quote re regarding uh, Marilyn Monroe. I used one of her quotes for Gemini. And, you know, maybe this month, maybe another reader is going to use that same quote. I mean, there is a fine line between copying somebody's work and reading the exact same energies for the set, exact same planetary alignment uh, with with exact facts that there is very little room you know for for deviating from fact okay so then you add on top of this um, just creative expression and sometimes it seems like there might be three or four readers or maybe even up to ten readers that are very similar in um, in the type of messages that they're giving out but but know this okay my work is my work okay so I I am not here at the present time I mean I, I am doing this for free I, I I do this on my own time I I am here simply because I feel that this is part of my spiritual path and because it's my spiritual path I I need to make sure that I share it with everyone and I do that by channeling universal energies and giving a message you know, to all of the viewers. Now, I have had people, uh, I've had some of my subscribers contact me and state that there are people out there that are copying my work. Now, you know, if there are a couple phrases that they say that are similar to me or, you know, if, if they're saying that, you know, Pluto was being a badass, something like that, and I said Pluto was being a badass. Pluto is a badass, okay? And anybody that doesn't know that Pluto can be a badass transformational planet, you know, then, you know, what else can I say? I, I'm, I'm not going to get bent out of shape because somebody, you know, says Pluto is a badass, whether they copied me or not. You know, to me, in my mind, that's fact. Pluto is badass. <laughs> so now, if it's something different from, like, you know, from the perspective of someone is, you know, formatting their their impression of my readings onto their videos, or someone is copying in whole or in part um, pieces of my videos, then I I probably will do something. Um, all videos are copyrighted, so. Um, are considered copyrighted even though you may not have you know a copyright notice on the front of your video so um, it's just it's part of an intellectual property and you know it, it's just kind of one of those things so I think all readers for the most part try to be very very careful you know not to you know try to add their own spin and their own creativity on it so that they don't appear to be copying somebody else but this is but the thing is, energies are energies, okay? Position alignments are position alignments. Seasons are seasons. You know, expression is expression. I mean, I'm just waiting for somebody to come out and say, okay, we're going to go ahead and copyright the name the United States of America and only certain people can say it because, 
you know, we've had four people say the United States of America on, on YouTube already. Come on, guys. No, 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 no. That's not where we're going with this. So I'm sorry that this took a little longer, um, this, this notice, but I had to give this notice out now, and I probably will do a general notice uh, on my YouTube, but um, my YouTube channel. But overall, I just want to let people know that you know these are my creations. I, I, I take a lot of pride in these creations. I utilize my own energies in combination with uh, universal energies, that channel to me, and I read for you, and I do it for my heart, for my soul, and and giving a piece of me to you. And, 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 and that's how I operate. So I just ask for that respect. Now, holy moly, after that long thing, let's just go ahead and get into your reading. Okay, now let's talk about what type of reading I'm gonna give you. I am doing a mid-cycle reading. The mid-cycle reading is the mid of a 30-day cycle. So you've got 10 days, a 10-day chunk here, a 10-day chunk you know, in the second area, and then a 10-day chunk in the last area. I'm gonna do the 10-day chunk in the middle. So basically what this is, is this is going to allow um, a little bit of uh, illumination regarding some of the energies that you may be dealing with. Now, I I would like to give mid-cycle readings all the time, but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So, the reason why I'm giving you a mid-cycle reading now is because today, on the 4th, as I am recording this, uh, we had a total lunar eclipse in Libra. Okay, Aries? So this total lunar eclipse in Libra, what is it and how does it affect you? A total lunar eclipse is where energetically things are hidden at the same time as things are released and let go. That is my impression of it and that's what I'm going to stick to, okay? Because I felt it, been there, done that. Okay, that, that's the way I describe it. So, in this particular manner, okay, you've got the energies of Libra. Libra is about balance. Libra is about justice. Libra is about law. And Libra is about partnerships, okay? You combine that with the house that it happened uh, in for you, and that was the, let me check my little ephemeral, okay, seven. That was in your seventh house. Now, your seventh house is all about partnerships. So you got a double dip dose of, um, of an eclipse in your partnership sector, okay? Because because this is just, you know, right now, Libra, Libra Central, you know, for you at this point. Okay, the sun is also in your first house. So with the sun being in your first house, Aries, you, your whole identity is being illuminated. So how could this play out? Okay, let's, let's look at this. Okay, you had... The lunar eclipse in your seventh house of partnerships. You had the lunar eclipse in Libra, which is about partnerships. Okay, you had, you have the illumination on your identity, on yourself. Okay, so what is happening here is that maybe during this eclipse, maybe a little bit before, but up to potentially four to six months later. You may have something in your partnership house that gets eclipsed out that affects your identity, okay? So, let's talk about work. Work, you may have, you may be uh, working for a company with eight partners, okay? In the next four to six months, you may have four of those partners leave, eclipsed out. You have four partners that are still there. Those four partners go to you and say, okay, this was our name when all these other partners were here. We now have to revamp that name and re-identify ourselves and who we are and how we identify personally with the type of business that we run. That may be something that you are facing here, um, you know, with this lunar eclipse. Now, the other thing that could happen is that there may have been partnerships that you were kind of trying to get moving to go forward but something happened and all of a sudden 
this partnership dissolved. Something was done by someone or something that literally dissolved the strength of the partnership and just crumbled into nothing for whatever reason. Now, maybe we'll see in the cards how that's going to pop out for you, but um, that may be how some of this plays out. For those of you, maybe from a relationship perspective, you may have walked away from a relationship, period. Okay, you walked away from a relationship, Aries, and one minute you're married, the next minute you're separated. The min one minute you're separated, the next minute you're single. One minute you're single, the next minute you're married. I mean, those are the types of energies that can happen. They can be really, really unexpected energies because this, um, this lunar eclipse, uh, I believe, was also aspected with Uranus, which is unexpected change. And that Uranus-Pluto square may have been a little bit activated as well. So maybe there was a transformation or an unexpected transformation that you weren't expecting and it just blew your doors right off. Now, know this, that if something did get eclipsed, if a partnership did get eclipsed out of your life, it just means that it did not serve your highest purpose in any way, shape, or form. Or it did not serve the highest purpose of the person or entity you wanted to partner with. Their path, their spiritual path, may need for them to go left, okay? And even though you may, you, you probably would have had a great partnership, you need to let them go left. And you just need to go right, okay? Because there was a reason that this particular partnership was eclipsed out. So let's go ahead and get to the reading. Now, I am going to use the uh, Raider White uh, tarot deck for the first two cards. Now, this is a mini reading, mini, a mini mid-cycle reading. <laughs> so the first card is going to be for the general energies of mid-month or mid-cycle. The second card is going to be how this affects you. And the third card is going to be the spiritual advice from the Crystal Ally deck, um, which can happen in three different ways. The spiritual advice cards can be a warning. They can be spiritual advice to enhance positive aspects of the two card reading. Or they can be spiritual advice to help you get through any frustrating or difficult aspects of the two card reading. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and the other thing that I'm going to do so that uh, there is complete transparency with my readings, not only do I shuffle on, um, not only do I shuffle live, uh, I also do not edit my videos. And now I'm going to add moving the camera down so that you can see as I lay out the cards. Okay, so here we go. Okay, Aries, what have we got? What are the general energies for mid-cycle of April 2015? April 2015. Mid-cycle, Aries, 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 Aries. Mid-cycle, Aries. Oh, that, no. This one wants to come out. How do these energies affect you? Mid-cycle, April 2015. Well, okay, guys, you got uh, you got two cards here, so that's what we're that's what we're gonna keep out. Okay. Now, spiritual advice for mid-cycle, April 2015. This one wants to come out, okay. Okay, guys, what do we have for the general energies for Aries mid-cycle, April 2015? Wow. Aries, uh, for your general energies, you got the Ten of Cups. Now, I am sensing with all the Eclipse energy that you've been through, um... You may have had partners leave your life or partnerships leave your life in business or uh, at home, but the feeling that the general energies that you're getting from it is one of completion, 
or this is what you're feeling for whatever reason. Maybe you feel like you have a partnership, but because the, the lunar eclipse hides things, because that's what a lunar eclipse does, it actually, um, it does eclipse things out of your life, but it also hides things. Things are hidden underneath the surface. So to you, your general energies may appear that like maybe that you've won or that um, you have a great family and great partnerships and, and a wonderful life. And that may very well be the case, but I think that this is coming across just as an impression because the 10 is the number of completion. But you know what, I, I could be wrong, so let's just wait to see uh, how this particular aspect or this particular energy may be affecting you. Um, on the positive though, a lot of you, especially with your home life, you may just be feeling happy and content and you've got your, you know, you've got two kids here, you know, that you're celebrating, you know, your family life. You're, you're celebrating the comforts of home and you're really just spending time with family. You know, and this could really be also um, in a case, especially as it relates to family, the Easter, the Easter holiday. I am really seeing the Easter holiday in this that a lot of you may be spending Easter with, um, with your dearest and your closest. But I'm just getting a different vibe for business. So let's just take a look and see what happens with this. How the general energies affect you. Page of Wands. You got two cards that came out for general energy, so we'll get through this. Page of Wands, Aries. There is a message of creativity coming to you in some way, shape, or form. Okay? Generally, this information is really, really good. So if you take it into the, into the context of family life, home life, having a great home life, this could be a message of just basically you guys dying Easter eggs and going on an Easter egg hunt. I mean, I'm really feeling Easter a lot with the Aries people right now. And obviously birthdays too. I mean, there might be a lot of creativity around, you know, your, your birthday. And you were created here, um, you know, in this uh, Aries sun time. So, um, so yeah, you guys can be celebrating uh, birthdays. And here as well, you know, you've got this wand here and it's all about fire and passion. This could easily be like a candlestick on a cake. I mean, that's just um, a candle on a cake. That's basically what this is. Somebody's going to surprise you with a cake. Like, you're going to be just kind of hanging out with the fam, not even doing anything. I mean, you're just going to be, maybe you're in the backyard. Maybe you're, you know, throwing the basketball around with the kids or whatever. And not expecting anything for your birthday. And here comes your brother, okay? That's little Mr. Joker, little Mr. Kidder. And he brings you the weirdest cake ever. Okay, and it, and it just, it's, it's something that your, your family is going to embrace and, um, you know, kind of like take a picture of and uh, put it in the family album for posterity's sake, really. <laughs> so that's what I'm kind of getting from the page ones. Also, um, it, maybe if it relates to work, this could be a potentially a creative endeavor. So there may be some type of... Um, creative endeavor that you are embarking on that you may feel for work is creating the sense of joy and teamwork and and family bonding and everything else so I mean I don't know where I was getting this nebulous hidden energy from but I don't know maybe the next card will give us something but so far I mean it's looking good so so good job Aries Aha, here it is. Okay, guys, you got the moon. I am sensing here that, and this is, I am sensing only work. I am not sensing family life by any way, shape, or form. This is work and work only for you, for those of you that work, okay? There is a creative project that you were really excited about and you were really happy about, like you were going to gain something out of it. But this creative, see, see this creative endeavor is going this way, sorry, this way. And the moon is looking down here, this way. They're not looking at each other at all, okay? So this is what I am sensing. I am sensing 
that somebody or some entity or some group of people and it may even be yourself Aries you may be in charge of a group of people that was trying to get maybe one over or get a sense of control over a particular group at work but they got a beat on you they got some inside information and they found out that you were manipulating them and they've turned that creative endeavor away from you they don't want to play with you anymore at all now that's on the negative side now for the positive side um, it could be well that would be negative side too um, even if I flip these over the creative endeavor itself is looking right at the moon and the moon is about deception illusion fantasy so on and so forth so whether it was some partner that had a creative endeavor that's turning away from you now this particular thing that you thought was the general energy that you thought was going to be bringing all this happiness, joy, family, success. I'm hearing success with work. This creative endeavor that you had, it was, it was absolutely deceitful. And I'm sorry to say that, guys, but if you wanted to create a creative endeavor or join partners, partner up with somebody to create an endeavor so that you can look successful on the surface, but you did it in a very suspicious and underhanded manner, that's not good, that's not good juju at all. So I think for you, especially with this uh, total, uh, total lunar eclipse in Libra in your partnership sector um, and the Libra energies, this is like double dip partnerships here. This eclipse is hiding something that you may not know about where you may be thinking you're getting one over on someone else when in fact they may be getting one over on you so wait it out Aries wait it out to kind of find out you know uh, what the energies reveal and, and maybe the spiritual advice will go ahead and, and give us uh, some advice on, on how to handle this situation again I do not think that um, this has a lot to do with family so if this has to do with family, like I said, I think you're probably just getting a really weird, you know, birthday cake from, from your younger brother that likes to play jokes. And um, as it relates to the moon, um, this uh, celebration for you, for your birthday, may just happen at night. And there may be um, a secret party somebody's going to be throwing at night. So that might be part of the unexpected surprise. So like, say you go to a ball game with your family and you're out and you're having fun and you're having a good time and you bring the family home, you turn on the lights, here's your younger brother with the weirdest birthday cake ever and they do it like after 7 o'clock and they bring all of your, your whole wolf pack, you know, into your house to, to celebrate and have fun with that. Okay, so let's see what the spiritual advice is for uh, Aries for mid-cycle April 2015 you have life force Aries I'm hearing that um, if you did partake in any nefarious activity at work that you need to balance yourself again and balance your chakras and clear out any negative energy or any negative um, situations that may have occurred or that you may have found out Go back into your life force, ground yourself into the earth, attach yourself to the earth, 
and bring the earth energy back up and let it fill you. I really uh, believe that universe wants you to go back to your life force and that which is your core values and now I'm hearing how would you like to be treated so if you're doing this to someone else how would you like to be treated would you like that treatment to be put on you would you like somebody to be hiding something from you would you like somebody to be lording some power over you would you like that if this is being done to you, you need to go back and embrace your life force and make yourself stronger so that you can confront this issue with somebody who may be doing something deceitful behind your back or may be hiding something behind your back. I would definitely recommend waiting for the message to come in. Wait for that message that you need to give illumination to that which is hidden. And you can do that by your life, by embracing your life force and getting rid of any negative energies and grounding yourself into the earth. Now, I am not seeing uh, any huge. I'm going to put it up here. I'm not seeing any huge uh, messages regarding romance at all. I mean, this is general. So um, I'm just not seeing anything regarding romance that much. If there is, um, I'm, I am seeing the romance as it relates to those that are in committed relationships or, or you know, uh, a marriage. For you, those of you that are single, if we looked at, you know, maybe how this affects you, um, Say that you're dating somebody and you have a very stable home life and you know maybe you're a you're a go-getter entrepreneur and you've got this great family life and you love family and you love your family and you're dating somebody and this person you know is coming in and they are giving you a message of passion and love but there may be something hidden you know in in this person's messages there may be a hidden message is is what I'm hearing so um, you know in order to find out what that hidden message is go back you know to your life force and you know ground yourself into the earth clear yourself of negative energies so that you can hear the actual message clearly you can perceive the message clearly on what you are being told so that you can go ahead and you can mitigate any type of nebulous or um, ambiguous types of energies that may be clouding the actual facts. Okay, Aries, well, there is your reading for mid-cycle, April of 2015. Um, I do, re if I remember correctly, it was either in March or April monthlies that there was some type of um, stealing of ideas or cheating in a game that's coming up again with that moon card okay and you know these energies might be sticking around for a while because of this uh, this total lunar eclipse in your partnership sector like double dipping your partnership sector so it's going to affect your identity so whatever it is that you're if, if you are above board and everything you're doing you're protected okay you are protected and just make sure that if you are doing everything above board that you are also protecting your um, your property you're protecting your ideas you're protecting your property make sure that that's happening on the alternative if you are that Aries out there that's not playing by the rules that's not playing fair that's making people feel like they're not worth anything or making people not want to play with you anymore or you know partnerships that were created out of a lie and then the partner now finds out about it and now they're withdrawing their partnership from you 
take note, Aries. If this is something you're doing, you're, you have to stop. You're creating a level of karma around you that is going to be insurmountable if you keep going down this path. I pray that this is not you. I hope that this is not you. But there are there are a few of you. I'm going to say 5%, 5 to 10%, where you guys aren't playing fair. Okay? And so you need to make sure that you clear out all that negative energy. You need to get rid of anything, any bad feelings you've had for anybody that you've worked with or any type of revenge. I'm hearing revenge. Okay? You want revenge on someone right now. No, no, no. Take care of yourself. You can only control yourself. That's all you can do. You cannot control other people. You cannot control their spiritual path. I'm hearing that the Aries are going undergoing a series of very, very deep lessons right now. Okay? Extremely deep. So give it some time, Aries. Get used to the energies. And we'll see how all this plays out. The secret, go back to your life force. Go back to your core values. Go back to, would I want to be treated this way? How do I want to treat people so that I receive that type of energy back to me? Okay. Go back to how you want to be treated. It is the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have done unto you. I think that's what's said. The golden rule. Yes. Okay. Enough said, Aries. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope that this mid-cycle reading has given you a little bit of insight on the type of energies that you may be dealing with. Happy birthday to many of you out there. Uh, I hope you have a super blast, and I hope your, your little brother, your little trickster sibling, uh, really uh, makes a rather interesting birthday cake for you for your birthday. Uh, again, my name is B. Uh, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. My Twitter is up. My Facebook is up. My Facebook is, you are going to hear my name now, Bobby is my first name, and my last name is Andreova. It is an ancestral name. So, B-O-B-B-I and A-N-D-E-R-A O-V-A. Okay, you just type that in and Facebook friend me and, and I'll get back. Uh, again, I'm I am extremely busy. I, I have a full-time job and I do this on my part-time. So, not part-time, my off-time. <laughs> so, I, I really do hope that you enjoy it. Aries, you're going through a lot of personal, personal growth right now. Embrace it right now because the lessons you're going to learn uh, with all of these changes are going to serve you in the future. Big time. Guaranteed. Okay? Take care of yourself. Much light, much love, and many blessings to you. Namaste.